Hi everyone, this is um, a video on a fairly boring subject, I suppose. It's a, an oak dining table which we've had for many years. But we've come to the point where the finish is starting to degrade. Degrading to the point where it's starting to lift. Um, the outsides of this table here are most definitely oak. But to save costs in production, this centre section here that is a laminate, that is a very thin layer of oak bonded onto something else. So the problem with any kind of laminate like this is that eventually it will get water ingress and it will start to lift and that's exactly what's happened. We can't think of any way to recover this because it is so thin if we try to sand it it's just not going to survive. So what are the options? Well, I suppose one is just to replace the table, but that's expensive and is a bit of a nuisance to have to go to do, uh, as the table works perfectly fine for us. So then, by chance, we had uh, a team of guys come in to replace the flooring in our house, and they fitted uh, a laminate uh, oak flooring of this type, very, very high-quality laminate uh, flooring in long planks. This is just a sample piece. But we thought, well, could we, because there were some pieces left over, could we do anything to our table to improve it? And that's what the whole project is about, is how to laminate this table so that it becomes more usable. Now, normally you'd want to laminate this table. You'd want to actually bond these tiles directly to the tabletop itself. But there are a couple of issues here. One is we have an extending table, and if we decide to bond these on, the table no longer extends. But the times we extend it are maybe once a year. So what's the best way to go about that? Well, we want to be able to keep the extension just in case a family party comes up, something happens, we need extra, extra table. So if we look at this table here, it allows us to pull it open. Now, if I bond directly to that, then there's no way I'm going to be able to open and close that section. So we thought, OK, we need some kind of temporary fill so that this would work. And we have come up with a bit of an idea. First of all, we thought if we could have a section which we could lift off on the odd occasion we need it, that would be great. So we found, which was an old... Um, I mean, it could be done with ply, it could be done with thin MDF, it can be done with all sorts of materials. But we found this material which was uh, used for signage. And it's very uh, easy to cut. So we cut a piece, and this is what it looks like. This, we have put over the whole table. Okay? The next plan is rather than bond this, we are going to trap this piece of plastic with an oak trim around the outside. Then, using these planks, as you can see, we are going to layer this up. Now, of course, eventually we will cover the whole table um, and it will be enclosed by an outer trim. On the ends, we intend to put a cross section here so that when this is in place, the whole table is neat and well finished. It needs trimming at this point, you can see that, but really it wants a centre section and two end sections, which we are in the process of uh, preparing. So. Come back to me in a few minutes and we'll see how we're getting on. Right everybody, um, we're back now with the table and as you can see it's pretty much complete. Uh, what we've done here is we have put along these um, edges, we've put some oak stripping, uh, a few millimetres thick, slightly different colour but we shall bring that back in slowly. 
so that it matches the rest of the top. As, as you can see, a uh, couple of little retaining screws here and here, which we will blank fill, uh, making that a nice finish. The end pieces are in place, and the good thing is none of this is actually stuck down. These, although I've got them very tight fitting, I can't pull them up uh, very easily. As soon as I release one of these trims, then an edge can be pulled and the whole lot can come off. So they are very, very tight fitting, these tiles. Um, there's no movement on the table. They're very soft to touch. The table now, it's very, very easy to maintain. It's very easy to wash down. Uh, it's a great, great finish. And I think you have to agree, it's done a pretty good job. And bear in mind, these were all uh, off cuts from a piece of floor, which we had done. Um, so very, very uh, cost effective way of recovering a table. Now all of these uh, planks or tiles, as they call them, uh, can be bought from most DIY shops. They are relatively cheap. There's a hundred different finishes you could use. They're all pretty much um, good good things wherever you get them from they're all okay um, these happen to come from a company called Candine which uh, probably you'd have heard of already but hey what a great improvement to this table we are as I said going to get these strips sorted out here they're not as bright as they appear in real life the camera is making them a little bit lighter than they probably would be but as you can see I think a perfect perfect job and in terms of costs well next to nothing and the other great thing is is that we can just within five minutes, take all this covering off and come back to our normal table again. So if we need to extend it, well, it's a piece of cake to do that. We just uh, spend five minutes, get ourselves sorted out. All this stuff comes off. It comes off in one piece and we can reassemble it without any damage to the table, barring a few little tiny holes where the screws have gone in, which is nothing. So there you go. Maybe it's a project you want to get involved in. Uh, there's maybe other things you could coat with this uh, condine or this uh, oak planking or pine planking or other type of planking you think you not, might need. Okay, good. I hope you like it. Uh, thumbs up if you do and uh, happy to take any questions. Cheers.